SN1604, also known as Kepler's supernova, Kepler's nova or Kepler's star, was a supernova of type 1a, that occurred in the Milky Way, in the constellation of Aeucus. Appearing in 1604, it is the most recent supernova in our own galaxy to have been unquestionably observed by the naked eye, occurring no farther than 6 kiloparsecs or about 20,000 light years from Earth. Observation. Visible to the naked eye, Kepler's star was brighter at its peak than any other star in the night sky, with an apparent magnitude of minus 2.5. It was visible during the day for over three weeks. Records of its sighting exist in European, Chinese, Korean and Arabic sources. Johannes Kepler's original drawing from De Stella Nova, 1606, depicting the location of the Stella Nova, marked with an N, eight grid squares down, four over from the left. It was the second supernova to be observed in a generation, after SN 1572 seen by Tycho de Brahe in Cassiopeia. No further supernovae have since been observed with certainty in the Milky Way, though many others outside our galaxy have been seen since S. Andromeda in 1885. SN 1987 A, in the Large Magellanic Cloud was easily visible to the naked eye. Evidence exists for two Milky Way supernovae whose signals would have reached Earth in 1680 and 1870, Cassiopeia A, and G, 1.9 plus 0.3 respectively. There is no historical record of either having been detected in those years probably as absorption by interstellar dust made them fainter. The remnant of Kepler's supernova is considered to be one of the prototypical objects of its kind and is still an object of much study in astronomy. Controversies. Astronomers of the time, including Kepler, were concerned with observing the conjunction of Mars and Jupiter, which they saw in terms of an auspicious conjunction, linked in their minds to the star of Bethlehem. However, cloudy weather prevented Kepler from making any celestial observations. Nevertheless, his fellow astronomers Wilhelm Fabry, Michael Meestlin and Helisadius Roslin were able to make observations on October 9, but did not record the supernova. The first recorded observation in Europe was by Lodovico del Colombi in northern Italy on October 9, 1604. Kepler was only able to begin his observations on October 17 while working at the imperial court in Prague for Emperor Rudolf II. The supernova was subsequently named after him, even though he was not its first observer, as his observations tracked the object for an entire year. These observations were described in his book De Stella Nova in Piti Serpentarii, on the new star in Ophiuchus's foot, Prague 1606.